Live now to talk more about this, retired FBI Special Agent Tom O'Connor. Uh, Mr. O'Connor, great to see you. Appreciate your time. Uh, your reaction to the temperature in the room right now? Well, the temperature in the room is is getting uh, way too hot, uh, and you know, this has been something that's been building up for quite some time. The the uh, the real increase in social media opportunities for people to. Uh, Pass information that uh, is inaccurate uh, is conspiracy theories, QAnon, all these things over the past uh, few years have have brought that temperature up. Um, this most recent uh, uptick in threats towards the FBI is just a, a continuation of, of what has been going on uh, across the board. And it comes from uh, all different angles. It really doesn't matter what the political bent is on it. Violence in any form uh, used to forward a political uh, advantage is, is wrong. And, uh, we, and we saw that come to the point uh, at a baseball field in Alexandria, Virginia, where uh, a, uh, Steve Scalise was shot by a person who had built up their, their hatred and their, their uh, hatred towards the government, the Republicans in that, in that uh, area, and uh, shot at a baseball field. Field. This is the same type of thing that's happening where rhetoric is being, uh, you know, people are saying things that, that other people are taking as calls to violence. And you can, as you were just playing, the calls for civil war, the, the uh, dirty bomb in front of the uh, FBI building. This is, this is uh, uh, in my 23 years as a domestic terrorism extremist uh, investigator, um, I've not seen it at this point. And uh, sadly, we've already had one person uh, die this week based off that is a, a person who was led to believe that they should attack the Cincinnati <laughs> FBI office. So right. um, it, this is not going to get better until pe leaders speak out and say violence is wrong across the board. Let me ask you this, Tom, because, you know, the FBI has a job to do, right? In in serving this search warrant, in searching Mar-a-Lago, uh, their job was clear to investigate if a crime was committed, and that's, that's what they're doing. But how much do they consider the optics of it? They knew this was going to be a big deal as they go in and do this search, how the public would respond. Is that a factor at all um, as they tackle what is such a delicate, delicate uh, person in Donald Trump and the messaging behind it all? Well, the FBI doesn't do small cases, right? I mean, they don't say they're going to make a federal case out of this, uh, meaning that it's going to be some small investigation. The FBI is used to doing very large, uh, delicate investigations, um, and they know that they're going to be, uh, you know, called this or called that. Uh, the, I mean, the, I, just the idea that uh, is being said that FBI agents planted uh, evidence. I mean, that, that's ludicrous, and um, there there are protocols in place to uh, be able to show that that didn't happen. Um, they, they obviously know that this is a very delicate situation, but uh, unfortunately their job still needs to be done and uh, they will continue to do it. The FBI is working today. They were working last month on cases. They're going to be working next month on cases, right? They continue to work these cases no matter what the optics are. Their job is not to be uh, always the people who uh, you know do things uh, delicately. Sometimes, unfortunately, um, they have to do things that are going to cause a stir. Uh, and you can see that from this uh, raid uh, or the, the search warrant that was executed, uh, they went in in plain clothes. They didn't wear raid jackets. There wasn't, and you hear online that there were all these weapons that were, and that was not the fact, right? I mean, um, but the rhetoric is going to build because the truth uh, really isn't what uh, a certain element does, wants to hear. Uh, and, and, and that's just a fact. How do these types of threats impact the men and women working day to day in the FBI, in law enforcement, um, trying to do their jobs? Um, and what more do you want the FBI to do in terms of transparency, getting out in front of this and handling the threats and how they investigate? Well, I think uh, Director Ray came out and, and, and called that violence is, is not acceptable. Uh, Brian O'Hare, the president of the FBI Agents Association, came out today uh, in a, a second statement saying that uh, violence towards law enforcement, no matter the state, local, or federal agencies, is wrong. That is not the way we solve our problems in the United States. We have court systems. This is a system which is going to go through a court. It, it, the uh, affidavit went to a judge. It was signed by a 
judge, and it was executed by the FBI. Um, this is how the process works. Um, calling for the hanging of FBI agents is outside that box, right? That is not something that we as Americans should fall to. Uh, and it certainly is not something that we want to see uh, our uh, leaders uh, kind of fomenting and, and by their statements, making this, uh, causing people to become even more enraged um, uh, just by the rhetoric and the conspiracy theories that are, are just abounding online. Uh, it, it is a difficult time. And, and, you know, FBI agents, just like any law enforcement agency, you have to be aware of your surroundings. They have to be aware of the threat streams. They have to track down all of these threats. Uh, and that takes time and it takes away from uh, other duties, which they would normally be doing. Right. Uh, there is a lot of threats coming in towards uh, law enforcement and also the the professional support staff that works in the FBI. A, a gunman is not going to uh, determine if this is an agent or this is a uh, analyst or this is a uh, clerical person it doesn't matter right uh, so the threat is there it's real and the fbi will handle that um, they'll continue to do the same things that they're doing uh, in doing their investigation this will not deter them from doing their job period words matter and these threats are very real uh, tom we're out of time appreciate you coming on tonight thank you thank you very much have a great week Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.